These were some of the best highlights from today's matchup at the Swiss stage of Worlds 2024. We've seen with Kaisa specifically is people are really comfortable leaving Kaisa in the 1v1 versus the majority of top laners in the meta. Although I'll hold that thought as Whippo caught up in a bit of CC here. No ignite for what he is. It's burning down on Whippo. Excuse me. He's gonna die. First yeah. blood. I mean, he just misplays. I, I see the idea that he's trying to go for that. He ease in, cues the 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 melee minions, ease back out again. But he gets chain CC'd. Fog of War. Good use of the Ivern utility. Mid lane was in an even state, top lane now even, but they'll just be a little bit too late to the objective. We the response to... coming in from Junja now, but he's a little bit late on starting the objective here, so Fi will have a bit of an advantage in terms of map pressure. Apologies for talking over you there, Drake. Yeah, I, just, I, I just noticed that uh, Cassio actually has half a level on Maple as well. We didn't get to see what happened in the mid lane matchup, but from that charm. If he had been, and then the CC had come through from Woody, that likely would have killed him. Two tower shots definitely would have connected. Jojo on the way and inspired in the area as well. Maple immediately to kick this fight off. Can they take the Cassio out of the equation? Petrifying gaze is clean from Quad, but it's not enough. Maple quick to move back in with the dash. Finds the reset as well. And now Boosio has a trouble shield coming in. Denting blows from Junja. Buys enough time to find the second kill. It's a double kill for Maple, but FlyQuest are able to respond. Surprised to see the FlyQuest bottom lane rotate here with the Grub spawning, but they've set their sights on the Dragon. It looks like Charm Good connects. Charm. Excellent route from Betty. Curtain call there now too. Redemption there, is it enough? Quad now healing up, nice sidestep, blinking health bar, nowhere left to go. Petrifying Gaze does nothing. Good patience from the side of PSG. I mean, they really used their range to perfection right there. Nicely done from Maple and Betty. Completed for Masu. You had Redemption coming in for Inspired. He's forced to use that mid, and now a lot of the strength that they should have had in this fight no longer there. Didn't get the Dragon either, didn't really get much bot, so played for the kill, played for that gold. But luckily for them, powerful enough. Pryo on their even lanes in top and mid means that they can just walk in and take this, get the four grub spike. That could have been much worse. Credit to Fly for getting back out on the map fast enough to stop the, the three for three grub trade. Yeah, because after Quad died, Fly no longer felt confident enough to be able to contest the dragon. Um, on top of that, there was a huge wave in mid that Quad ended up losing off the back of that, extending the gold lead even more in favor of Maple. Looks like PSG are going to start this one off, and FlyQuest are happy to concede it. Busio continues to hover around bot lane. Maybe they can catch Maple off guard. It's very respectful, though. Pings are coming down from both sides. And this is where the merch trade value is insane, right? Leona goes from feeling unstoppable to manageable when you have that. So it's all about this miasma. If they can layer the CC, if they can find the setup tools on the side of PSG. But when you're facing a Casio alongside that Ivern, 5v5s can be really tricky if you don't have the proper setup. Tower for tower trade. But Fly with position on the top side of the map are going to be able to grab the Herald as well. So again, a situation where, where Fly are able to find the greater trade. Got the grubs earlier, now grabbing the Herald in a position to start to really blow this gold lead open. We'll see where they want to use the Herald. Obviously, bot and mid tier one are both still up. But I think against a pit composition, just opening up mid lane gives you so much more access to the map. No, I really love the fact that every game either starts with Western teams doing good and then immediately throwing or finding a way back in the mid game as Whippo's now in trouble. Good healing coming in. The Ignite already there. That means he's likely to fall. Flashback to safety is clutch. Masu free hitting on Woody. Previous game where Maple wants to back. I think he has enough gold to complete his item, but I think it's going to be too late, which means that second dragon of the game will go over to FlyQuest. Interrupt's going to come through from Whippo as well. And I mean, there's no rush to go back to base at this point, given that the objective has already fallen. Careful, this jungler could be here. Respect this play. It does feel like they're super respectful of their opposition. Well, you can't afford to lose. They certainly do not want to. Nice poke onto Whippo. Maple did, unfortunately, charm a minion earlier. Whippo would have sidestepped the charm, but now he's getting aggressive, trying to delete the wave, knowing his team is getting something else on the map. E going to be immediately interrupted. So PSG find a quick Ooh. kill topside, but the wave getting deleted by Aja is crucial. Now in the mid lane, they're already using their Herald, but Maple is here to defend. That was a crazy good play from PSG. Charm is clutch. Rue coming in from Betty as well. The Redemption now coming in. Inspired in trouble. Master needs to get out. PSG, fantastic play topside. They stopped the counter punch coming in for Fly. Well done. Everything about that was incredible. Busio now goes for the stun. Quad. Has to be the difference maker. He and Masu. Masu only on a single item. He's behind. This is so hard for them to play out. Quad locked up. Unstoppable Vi goes in. Junja going back. Quad wants to get a bit more space. Flashing out to safety. Busio going to be the sacrifice. So the rest of the team can escape. But now Masu's in trouble. Ignite taking just so they keep the vision. Just so they can follow where he goes. In trouble now. 
Knockback is there. Masu alting out, but it will not be to safety. Just delaying the death. PSG, what a beautiful sequence. It really was, Dracos. I mean, lose out on the Drake here. Won't get much in return. Whippo really needs to be close to mid just in case the die play well, comes through. There's also nothing Whippo can do. Like that wave bot lane is, he can't go and get it. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just like, I guess I'll just hover around mid lane. Now he's moving up top side. Masu, stun. Earlier. Ultimately, though, they still get the objective. And there's not really much to cross map on the side of FlyQuest. This tower was kind of destined to fall eventually. Certainly. Doncourt now completed for Inspired, so. This tower is just being slowly chipped away at. I mean, PSG, they're not overcomplicating the game. It's nice to see. I mean, you can see, uh, starting this one off, Fly want to get in the area. Quad has to be careful. He cannot be the one to face check that. Luckily, the brush vision coming in from Inspired does allow them to step forward. They don't get a lot out of FlyQuest to start that objective. It costs them the TP. If they can't find the fight here, it's a bit difficult. Whippo. Looking to get a little bit more on the stride breaker. Nice initial damage, but he gets knocked back to the wall. Pretty easy initial kill pickup. Nice counter engage coming in. Redemption. Whippo still standing. That's going to be big. Flacco's finding the initial angle. Jojo running out to safety. Curtain call coming across the backside, but there's no blinking health bars yet. Maple trying to make the difference. And Busio is there with the CC to lock him down. Charm goes the wrong way. Maple ticking down. Poison in his veins. He's going to drop. Shut down. Coming through for quad. FlyQuest beautifully played. I was worried about that engage from Whippo because it felt like that he'd overextended. He was going to get turned on, but the support from the Ivan at this point in the game. FlyQuest finally found the confidence to make the play that they needed. Betty chipping away at Whippo. He doesn't do enough damage to finish that kill. And again, they obliterate this objective. Do they turn for Aja? Rage stacking, seven seconds on the Meganar. It's not enough. FlyQuest getting the objective. They were getting bled out across the map, but PSG overcommit on that Baron, and Fly are quick to punish. Yeah, it's locked down. And basically, Whippo just acts as a tank. He is the one soaking up all the damage. He's the one drawing all that pressure. And PSG crumble under that pressure. They can't find the targets that they're looking for. And FlyQuest get the front to back that they're looking for. And kind of the success I feel like they had in previous plays, making them forget how powerful FlyQuest are from a compositional perspective. The item advantage is not enough to balance out when Cassio is able to get into range so easily. It's going to be yeah. a little bit stressful. But uh, if they keep leveraging the Baron power Empowered Minions, Whippo. Whippo going Whoop. in again. Sterix is a very good item. And Ivern backing him up means he's going to live. He should be dead. I can't believe that he lived that. But you're really seeing the value of this Ivern. The utility, the redemption, the shielding. They get the tower. You're here to defend for now, but Quad is on his way. They've got to be careful of a potential dive. They don't really have the members here. The cross map coming through from Whippo on the top lane. It's taking a bit of time. Yeah, the TP response can happen as well. There's no real other play to go for here. They get the TP. Obviously, long cooldown before Baron. Whippo leveraging the Fog of War. Going to get spotted out by the trap, though. Good patience from PSG, though. They Dragon wait until Daisy not dies. being started off. All of the vision is just like, look, they're out of wards. The only thing they get to see, oh, Busio. Quick stun. What are you out for now? It's the ulti again. Busio needs to be a little bit more patient, I feel. A few times now. Asma Whippo down. Flashed. Whippo going forward. Stun not quite hitting the charm was perfect. Masu backs up and Betty just flashes into his team. Redemption doing so much work, but Betty goes down. Void Seeker from Masu. He's ready to take over in this fight. Flash forward. The double. Redemption. Lethality Vars was not enough at MSI. But the Kaisa is killing everybody in this game. Masu going for more. Can he get four? Quadra for Masu. Maple running. They won't give him the Penta. But that's a redemption story if I've ever seen one. And you can see how hard it is for PSG, even in a situation where the start of the fight looks promising. Kept playing to their win conditions, and now they've set their sights on Baron. Hex flash over the wall, coming for Busio, trying to zone Don't the way. Don't 50-50 this fly quest. Quad can my asthma. Is that going to be the fall? Do they burn the objective for a split? It's a bit of a split focus, and Quad can flash over the wall, but it's awkward, but they will secure the Baron. Whippo not too scared. Well played by FlyQuest. Yeah, they played that really well. Now PSG really holding on. This position, earlier if Whippo stepped too far forward, it was hard for him to survive, but at this stage, he can eat a bunch of cooldowns. I don't like the fact that FlyQuest is basically just playing through one. Oh, I can't never mind. They just, just got to brute force it. They have the Daisy and they have another tank here. They know they win the 5v5. TP now coming in, Whippo joining the squad. They just want to keep bullying with this five-man unit. Whippo going in, looking for the stun, trying to lock up Maple, trying to lock up Betty, trying to lock up anybody. And again, the redemption comes in. The shielding comes in this time around. The Serpent's Fang was there, mitigated some of that value. But we'll be forced to run away. They still can't Fly kill now him, retreating. Though. Dragon spawning, two seconds. 
PSG. PSG. Don't really have a lane to play through. They're completely split. It's an easy collapse. Masu going to the first kill onto Junja. There's no fight here for PSG. Redemption goes down. Wibble going to take the additional healing. 500 health. Masu now unstoppable. Takes a bit more time than expected to kill Junja. But he's dead all the same. I think I can say with confidence, objectively, they don't have enough damage. They, yeah. they do not do enough to kill all of FlyQuest. True. And I think we've learned, because we talked about Grass versus Electrocute earlier, that Electrocute is not enough to make no, Maple a one-shot late game assassin in the context of this game. I'm just keeping an aggro for now. I yeah. think that FlyQuest, they could just have quad. Yeah. Masu can also just do it with Daisy. That's I mean, so greatest, fun. greatest rivalries, LCK versus LPL, Daisy versus the Baron. <laughs> Specifically Cupcake Daisy for some reason. Well, they one-shot it. Yep. And again, no, no discredit to PSG. They are an incredible team. But at this point, from this position, the Excel spreadsheet version of League of Legends, as Whippo goes in, some initial damage. Alti in the back is good. Maple trying to make the difference, but the charm does not hit. Crucially, Junja now running. Aja has the AoE, but he gets one popped. Masu doing so much damage. It ends up being a one for one, the trade of top laners. But as the wave comes through, Maple can't play. You highlighted it. Daisy just blocks all the relevant cooldowns. Only the Orb Deception will go through. Charm again hitting a might. This man cannot catch a break. FlyQuest pushing in. This is a moment where they can overstep. One of the few left to them. And they play it out I mean, clean. Masu just melts these towers. He's going to keep so chipping away with the W. W cooldown is non-existent. Masu going back. Woody doesn't hit, and that should do it. Masu free to do all the damage he wants. Going godlike in this matchup. Benny, a dead man walking. Junja running for the hills. Masu going golden, baby. Yet another quadra to come in as they close this one out in style. FlyQuest moving on to two and one. These were some of the best highlights from today's matchup at the Swiss stage of Worlds 2024. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.